What's up, y'all? It's your boy C coming back at you with another episode of C's Retro Garage. Coming to you once again from the man cave in outer space in the free state of Florida. Here to bring you another Atari 5200 video game review. This time of another arcade classic I picked up for seven bucks. Kangaroo. Let's get into it. Alright, now Kangaroo is an arcade game, first released by Sun Electronics in 1982 for the Atari platforms, uh, the 2600 and the 5200. I don't believe it was ever released for the 7800, uh, but originally released as an arcade game in 1982, uh, then to home release in 1983. Very similar to Donkey Kong and the way of its, you know, uh, format. It uh, has a four-screen four screen platform. Uh, again, that's similar to Donkey Kong, but instead of Mario, you're a kangaroo with a set of boxing gloves trying to rescue your kid. Uh, so that's pretty simple. As you know, in Donkey Kong, you're Mario trying to uh, rescue... Was it Daisy? Jeez, man, time flies, I forget from, uh, you know, from Donkey Kong. Uh, so in this case, you know, you are Mama Kangaroo trying to rescue the Joey. Uh, so there's four different levels and uh, they compromise, you know, <clears throat> where you stop, start at the bottom, try to get to the top. And of course, you know, Joey's being held captive by the monkeys who are constantly launching apples at you. Which is pretty funny because in real life, you know, a kangaroo could care less if you were throwing apples at him, but whatever. Uh, so, your objective is basically, you know, beat the crap out of the monkeys, uh, get the fruit, touch the bells, and uh, that's about it. And uh, you also got to be wary of the uh, big ape that's coming at you. Uh, now, levels. One, two, and four consist of different platforms that the mother kangaroo uh, has to jump or climb on. Uh, third level, Joey's in a cage held up by a troop of monkeys. And uh, there's a horde of apples that will be unleashed if all five monkeys climb up to it. On this level, mother kangaroo must punch each monkey in the stack several times until the cage is lowered. And when the cage has been lowered enough, the mother kangaroo must climb to the next floor to get to the joey before the cage is raised again. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Now, as far as the 5200 version, when it was reviewed by Video Game Magazine uh, in its arcade alley, <clears throat> had a mixed review. Uh, some described it as an excellent piece of work. And uh, others basically said that it failed to bowl them over and uh, criticized the animation quality of the graphics, which appeared, according to their own words, used primarily to dress up rudimentary play action. It was later awarded the 1984 Best Arcade to Home Video Game Computer Game Translation at the 5th Annual Archie Awards where judges noted that all aspects of the game look and play as a virtual duplicate of the arcade version. So, ha, to the critics. Uh, but that's also assuming that it was actually an awesome arcade game to begin with. I mean, it was it was okay, it was fun. It was the 80s, you know, early 80s. It didn't take much to uh, get us going back then. Uh, remember, Pac-Man is king. And, um... That was a very simple, simple design and platform. So, uh, in 1984, uh, Kangaroo and Space Ace replaced Pitfall Harry, Frogger, and Donkey Kong Jr. in uh, the uh, CBS Saturday Supercade. Just figured I'd throw that in there as a uh, <laughs> as a bit of a legacy. Um, but that's about it. 
as far as the history of kangaroo uh, so let's go ahead and jump into the game all right let's get our game on all right so here is kangaroo i'm gonna go ahead and this guy going. Let's focus a little bit here. Alright. Alright, so right off the bat. Pretty similar to the arcade game. So you get these, uh, what are these monkeys or whatever chasing you. Oop. I just got shit flung at me from one of these monkeys. Uh, so, so far, not bad. Pretty much just like the arcade game was. Not too different. So the objective is pretty much, uh, if you can think of like Donkey Kong, kangaroo is the kangaroo is the kangaroo version of Donkey Kong, pretty much. You gotta get up there and free the baby kangaroo, and I just died there. That's all good. No big deal. So let's go ahead. As you can see, it's on advanced. Uh, I'm not sure how to change that. If you can change it. Well, I shouldn't say if you can. I mean, of course you can. Uh, but I don't have the keypad buttons. And I don't remember what it is at the time. So, I guess we'll just have to leave it on advanced. Um, I'm sure I can figure that one out with a Google search. Um, let's go ahead and start the game again. Play control is pretty simple. Uh, you know, the top fire button throws the punch for the kangaroo. And then you get shit flung on you. At some point, you'll get the timing. It has been probably a good at least 30 years since I played this game, so I am uh, definitely rusty as all hell when it comes to playing kangaroo. There's not a whole lot to it. Again, this comes like right out of uh, this comes again right out of the old uh, Donkey Kong playbook. Saved our buddy! Alright, so now we move on. I forgot what these are supposed to be. Oh, okay, you fall off and die. What a way to die, right? You're a freaking kangaroo. You should be able to hop right back up. And I guess that's it, I died. Oh well, it happens, right? So, Kangaroo, pretty much like the arcade. It's a very simple beast. Um, there's not a whole lot to it. Uh, but if you enjoyed the arcade, you'll definitely enjoy this one. Uh, I believe, if I remember right, I paid seven bucks for this game, so it wasn't, it wasn't a huge expense. fun game. It is one that's a little bit more animated for an Atari platform. There's a lot of things going on in the screen. You can see. 
why don't I get hit by the damn apple? The, well, in all reality, we all know that's actually a pile of shit being thrown by the monkeys. Uh, so, but it's, I mean, it's it's a fun game. If you, like I said, if you enjoyed the arcade version, you'll enjoy this one. It's pretty much exactly the same. Of course, the arcade has a little bit stronger graphics. Um, the 5200 version is definitely much stronger than the... The 5200 version is definitely much stronger than the... Um, 2600 version for sure. 2600 version is a piece of junk. Um, but it's not a bad game. Uh, again, if you enjoyed the arcade version, you will enjoy this one. It's a very simple creature. Uh, the joystick does exactly what it's supposed to do. The play control is spot on, pretty much. Um, I'll figure out how to reduce that to a little bit, you know, less than advanced stage. Advances. A little difficult for a person who's rusty. I mean, I haven't played this game in at least 30 years, probably longer. Um, and it's not, not a bad game at all. It's a pretty decent port to the, um, home platform from the arcade. What's the game worth? Uh, I paid $7 for it. Um, I feel happy about the seven bucks. Ten bucks is probably you know, where it's at, right around there. Um, and again, it always you're a collector, it doesn't matter. Um, if you're buying it for a just a casual collection, yeah, it's worth it. Get it. It's an arcade game. It's an arcade classic. Well, I shouldn't say it's a classic, but it is an arcade game from back in the '80s, um, and it's worth it's worth having in your library. It's a decent game. Uh, and once you, you know, you get the ma the hang of it, as Atari always says, easy to learn, difficult to master, uh, you know, you'll have, you'll have some fun times, and, uh, you'll reminisce a little bit, so definitely buy it, uh, I wouldn't pay more than $10 for it, and, uh, that's C's take on it. And that, my friends, was Kangaroo, an arcade classic, classic in time, not, not really in gaming, um, not bad, again, it's worth having, uh, 10 bucks, so it's a, it's a decent game, uh, it's not that much of a deviation from the arcade, it's a pretty simple beast, so, uh, that's it as far as Kangaroo, uh, join me the next time at Seize Retro Garage, when I go over another little gem I picked up, also on the cheap, another little gem for the 5200, <laughs> Popeye the Sailor Man. It's the best I can do it. So as usual, this is your boy C coming back at you from the man cave in outer space in the free state of Florida. Remind you to stay safe, be ye kind one to another. Peace out.